Hey there, YouTube. You are looking dashing this morning. I must say, you clean up nice, YouTube. So CIG just put out patch 1.1.2 of Star Citizen, which includes a tutorial mode and the first ever fully voice acted NPC in Star Citizen. So I'm really excited to check this out. I'm going to leave this video mostly commentary free, aside from perhaps reading a few of the little uh, tutorial tidbits or maybe a few of my reactions. But for the most part, I'm going to try not to blather on and on so that you guys can just sit back and enjoy the game gameplay with me, whatever that might turn out to be. Uh, anyway, so without further ado, I'm going to zip it and uh, let's see what this is all about. Still waiting. I'm Lucas Baramsko, but everyone knows me as Gilly. I've served in six squadrons and qualified on almost a dozen ships. So if you put in the time, I'll get you on the path to dogfighting with the best of them. We're going to set you up in the ship on the landing pad over there. Hustle over and let's get going. Move it, move it, move it! I kind of want to see if I can get in his ship. Easy there, rookie. That's my ride. I want to watch him get in. As this is the first ever NPC in Star Citizen. <laughs> he looks a little drunk, but that's okay. Beautiful. Okay, now I gotta go find my ship. yourself with the layout. It's imperative to quickly find and access specific controls. Last thing you want to be doing in a scrap is bringing up the instructions. You'll notice the majority of your systems are disabled. I'll be controlling when they're on and offline to simulate potential scenarios and combat situations. Let's get ready for takeoff. I'll do this step by step to show you how it's done. Systems, check. Engines, check. Tower, permission for launch. Copy that tower. All right, first I want to lift vertically until I'm just clear of the landing pad. Now that I'm clear, I can straight forward onto the taxiway. Now I square my ship up with the ceiling doors, ready for a vertical takeoff. Once you're aligned, the tower will open the doors. That's it. Once I clear out, it'll be your turn. Ready? I'm enabling your systems. Yep. We'll monitor your progress from up here. Here we go. Take off. When taking off from a governed landing zone, you should request permission by pressing button 3. You can take off without permission by simply strafing up, but you may incur penalties. There are two takeoff modes. You will begin in manual mode. To automate the entire takeoff procedure, engage the automated mode with M. This is disabled for basic training. Cleared for launch. Nice. You're clear of the pad. Okay. Right, here we go. Now straight forward onto the taxiway. If you need it, Whoa. the tower should have uh, up my... the pad. Make sure you don't pitch or roll. It'll be tough to get back into proper alignment. 
Don't align yourself with the middle of the doors. You'd be surprised how many crews forget that the cockpit is not the center of the ship. The tower will open the doors once you're lined up. My thrust control stopped working. It wouldn't let me reduce Watch thrust. It, rookie. That's probably still a few bugs to work out. You're lined up. I still can't thrust forward. I can only strafe. Okay, I'm gonna have to angle this just right and just strafe through it. Careful! These ships aren't cheap. I'm gonna strafe sideways through it. Since I can't thrust forward. Okay, I can't strafe forward. I still can't apply any uh, f thrust forward, I mean. So. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> Great job. I haven't seen many pull one off on the first try. I've just I enabled didn't. your targeting system. Use it to target me. That's a good line, pilot. What the hell was that? Good. When pursuing a target, you'll want to keep your speed as close to theirs as possible. Give it a shot. Make sure I'm targeted and hit match speed. Great. You're locked on. Remember, this is an autopilot, so you still have to steer. But you'll notice that once you're locked, your computer will continue to monitor my speed and adjust. It doesn't matter if I speed up slowly or stop fast. That, my friend, is the Spire. Isn't she a beauty? She certainly is. Let's take a stroll through her, shall we? Moving on. Now this is my favorite part of training, the barrel roll. <laughs> so much fun. Rolling is a great way to orient your ship to fit through tight gaps or evade incoming fire. Now you give it a go. Rolling, you are able to roll your ship by holding X-axis. Nice one. Well, you seem to be able to handle your ship. So let's see if you can handle a bit of combat. Check your radar. You should have a contact. Don't worry. It's just a training drone. It handles just like the real thing, but its weapons are less than lethal. Saying that, they still pack a punch, so try not to take any hits if you don't have to. Use your targeting system to quickly target the closest enemy. Target nearest enemy. To focus your targeting system on the nearest enemy radar contact, press 4. Okay. Now look at the top right of your HUD. You should see the target displayed. This will show real-time damage, shield status, and a few other things. Shields are drawn as panels floating around the ship. They'll shrink as they weaken until they disappear completely. At that point, your shots will hit the hull and cause lasting damage. Your shields will protect the hull of your ship from damage from enemy projectiles and absorb some of the energy from ballistic projectiles. If they absorb more energy than they can dissipate, they will overload and go down for a short time, leaving your ship exposed. Now your weapons are online. Line up your target and fire when you're ready. To fire weapon group 1, hold 1. To fire weapon group 2, hold 2. Good shot. See its shields weakening on your hut? Yeah, it didn't like that. What are you waiting for? Go finish it off. Now you have a target. You'll have extra aim reticules. Those are predicted impact points, or pips. They'll show you where to shoot to hit a moving target. Notice you have multiple pips with varying lag. Each of those indicates a weapon on your ship. The computer is trying to compensate for the varying speeds between your ballistic and energy projectiles. Missile locking sensors are on the nose, so keep your target in front of you long enough to lock on. Ease up. Your weapons are getting hot. They're 
you go. Keep on the pressure. On me, rookie. On me, let's go! Let's move on. Uh-oh! Looks like he had a friend. Take a look in your review camera. He's got locked. Missiles incoming. That hit took out your weapons. You'll have to hold out till they come back. Countermeasures are still online. Use them. Last missile was heat-seeking, so equip your flares. Helpful tip, don't boost after dropping one. Boosted thrusters are much hotter than a flare. Flares have a short lifetime. Don't be too quick to fire them. Another pro tip, countermeasures are fired backwards, so never fly the missile head-on, launch countermeasure, and expect it to work. Watch it, rookie. He's got locked. Missile's incoming. Good. You got your guns back, but I'll need more time to get your missiles up. If the drone gets behind you, enter decoupled mode to disengage your main engines and allow you to spin your ship around while retaining your original vector. It's a great way to dissuade your pursuer, but make sure you check your path ahead first. Give it a try. Just remember to disengage when you're done. You're taking hits. Check your heart for shield and damage status. He's got locked. Missiles incoming. On me, rookie. You've got your missiles back. Take it out. back to the landing pad to restock and refuel for the final part of your training. On me, rookie. I gotta say, I really like the soundtrack of this tutorial. Okay, it's automatically slowing me down, taking control Wait of my ship. You, kid. you did good back there, kid. Let me guess, you're an Arena Commander fan. Oh, I've got target match velocity on, which he told me to do earlier, but now he's stopped, so I have to break that and actually move forward or nothing. Uh, the next step won't, will not initiate unless I get closer. This should be close enough. Once landing mode's active, your HUD's going to swap out your combat systems for landing-specific functionality. You can cycle through available landing pads, the same as cycling through targets. Once you've targeted a landing pad, request permission to land. Go ahead and pick a landing pad. The radar is replaced by the landing system. It'll guide you to your pad and help you perform a safe landing. You can use the automatic ETL landing procedure or do the whole thing manually. Make sure your ship stays within the bounds of the pad and keep your eye on your pitch and roll. Pitch and roll, got it.
Whoa, okay. I moved my thruster forward slightly to get a little closer, and the game took over and wouldn't let me slow it down again. There's definitely an issue. Okay. Uh, that time, it just randomly thrusted me forward. My, I didn't even have my hand on the thrust. My thruster control was actually all the way back, and yet the game just randomly shot me forward for some reason. So, obviously still some issues with that. Something to be worked out there. Touchdown. Great work. While we're waiting, feel free to take a look at your ship's setup. In there, you'll see your weapon groups, shield configuration, and power distribution. Now, wouldn't mess around with them during training. So I can go through here and disable different weapon systems and uh, remove power going to them. And here is the power throttle. I can completely shut down power to my ship. And you can see there on the little bottom left corner where it says EM, you can see my electromagnetic signature has gone all the way down from doing that. But obviously now none of my systems are receiving any power. Now here I can go and assign more power to either uh, weapons, shields, or avionics. I think G3 is shields, G1 is weapons, G2 is avionics, something like that. Could be wrong on that. So let's just set that back where it was and leave it at default or close to default. I can shut off my shields, turn them back on, shut off different weapon systems. Shut off engines. Shutting all this stuff down will be good for going into stealth mode and keeping off radar if you need to hide. If someone is tailing you and you, it's, you think it's a battle you won't win, you can duck behind an asteroid and shut down all power to your systems and go sort of stealthy, try to get off their radar. And here is distribution to, to different shield segments. I can go starboard, port side, uh, fore and aft. By adjusting this here, I'm going to leave that at default. Think you can stay on my tail? If you need to get up to top speed in a hurry, try boosting. Boosting. To overpower your ship's thrusters, hold boost, whatever that might be for you. This will increase your acceleration, but once your ship reaches its top speed, the effect of boost will be negligible. Boosting also helps you perform sharp turns by overpowering your maneuvering thrusters to help you achieve a tighter turn. You can okay, also here we go. Use it to overpower your maneuvering um, in order why to am take I going backwards? Corners. Oh, it put, uh, let's see, performing sharp turns. There are several techniques for improving cornering. The easiest method is to hold down boost and overpower your maneuvering thrusters to tighten your turn. Another method is to hold down space brake to reduce the throttle, then release when your ship is turned in the right direction, at which point your previous throttle will quickly and automatically be reapplied. And let's, okay, I'm still going backwards. Oh, it put me in decoupled mode, that's why. So I need to go back into couple. And I had just about left the training area there. If you need there. to cut your speed in a hurry, use your space brake. It's much quicker than dialing back your engines. And the moment you let go of it, you'll automatically accelerate back okay. up to your previous speed. Think you can put all this together? Let's see. Still with me, kid? Good job. Now one thing you need to understand, every ship's outfitted with systems to look out for you. That last sharp turn, you probably felt your ship clamp down on the speed. That's your G-safe system kicking in making sure that you aren't taking too many G-forces and blacking out. If you need to get that extra edge in turning, you can disable G-safe, but be warned. An unconscious pilot turns to a dead one pretty quick. 
G-Safe has a safety feature which prevents you from performing maneuvers which would put your body through dangerous amounts of G-Force by limiting the turn rate of your ship at high velocities. You also have ComStep, which adjusts your forward velocity so you can make controlled turns. Disabling ComStep will allow you to maintain your velocity in turns, but you will drift wider. Think fast. Still with me? All right, I'm a little impressed. Race you to the spire. Hold on, I've got contacts inbound. Contact, Bando fighter, get ahead. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. All your systems are active. This is a live firing ca- Mark your target. Copy that. I got the elevator. Good luck. Stay sharp. We've got more hostiles inbound. Looks like there's a glaive in the mix. That glaive's a recognized ace. Enemy designation is tank. We're gonna have to work together to take it down. Target the glaive. We're taking hits. Check your heart for shield and damage status. Good kill. Glaive's down. You're clear to engage the rest. Good luck. Training session, huh? Danger. Radiation critical. I'm getting erratic power spikes from your ship. It must have hit your power plant. Your ship's loaded with military intel, so we can't let it fall into enemy hands. You'll have to initiate self-destruct before you eject. On me, rookie. It's the only thing I can't do remotely, kid. You have to initiate. Hurry! Bail out. Eject, eject. Get back here. Cutting it close there, kid. Get back here. Get out of there. Let's get you back to this. First round's on me. All right, and that is the tutorial mode, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I know that I, for one, am very excited to see these modules for Star Citizen starting to come together and resemble an actual game. And I know the debate on Star Citizen ranges everywhere between it's a scam, it's vaporware, to it's going to be the best game of all time and, uh, you know, uh, revolutionize gaming for years to come. Um, but uh, personally, I, I'm just um, excited to see if they could pull it all off and um, I get very excited when they release um, updates and patches and new modules because uh, I love to see this game shaping up and uh, I'm personally very excited for it. Anyways, thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, send me hate messages, start a flame war, whatever you want to do and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.